Floyd Mayweather made some dramatic reactions after discovering the fixed bout between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. Mayweather is widely known, not only for his prowess in the ring, but for making such a great name for himself in the business aspect of boxing. And despite the financial benefits of the matchup, Mayweather has so many concerns and mixed feelings about the potential impact it could have on the sport. Let's hear from him. The undefeated former American boxing professional and the 2010 S Fighter of the Decade felt uncomfortable with the upcoming match on July 20th. He opened up his comments by highlighting the financial benefits of the match and how it would be an exciting one for many. He reminisced about the events in 2021, where he and Jake Paul's brother and YouTuber Logan Paul fought it out in a non-scored exhibition bout in 2021. However, Mayweather felt the clash was an understandable and rational clash, while that of Mike Tyson and Jake Paul seemed outrageous. Yeah, I know it's a great one, and Mike Tyson's fans would love to see him return. And it's not just that, he's going to make some good money too. Both of them have the name and reputation to pull the numbers. So the financial aspects of it makes it a great fight. And it would be streamed on Netflix too. Some unusual and cool organization has definitely gone into it. Mayweather then went on to express his worries about the match and how the match could leave some indelible impacts on sports. To Mayweather, it's not enough to do sports for money. The integrity of sports must be safeguarded. But I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried about the potential impact of the fight on the sport, on combat sports. Mike Tyson is a very influential personality within and beyond combat sports, and his moves can create some good or dangerous impacts on all sports. I feel the move is too financially motivated and risky. He, however, didn't take away the credits from Mike Tyson. He gave his utmost respect and honor to Mike Tyson, claiming he was one of the legends who paved a way for him. And as a result, Floyd Mayweather Jr. felt Tyson shouldn't be accused for choosing to participate in the matchup against Jake Paul. Many have criticized Iron Mike for being so careless about his health and paying absolutely no attention to a factor as important as his age. But Mayweather felt otherwise and stated why. Well, I commend Mike Tyson because he's one of the guys that paved the way for me to be where I'm at. You know he's a legendary champion, and the only thing I have to say about Mike Tyson is everyone is always trying to judge Mike Tyson. He lived his life the way he wanted to live his life. No one can say how or what they would have done if they were in his shoes. Because he, he's one of the guys that paved the way for me to be where I'm at. You know, he's a legendary champion. And the only thing I have to say about Mike Tyson is everyone is always trying to judge Mike Tyson. I don't feel too good about the bout, too. I have my concerns as well. If it is not an exhibition fight, then it would be more shocking and crazy. Paul is coming in with so much energy, and Tyson's gone out. He's done that about 20 years ago when Paul was just 10 years old. I don't feel too satisfied with it for now. It is a very risky matchup for Mike Tyson and might do some harm to his legacy, but even greater harm to his health, and that's my biggest worry. The match is one that would really decide how the sport will be seen moving forward. Mayweather had more to say about the fight while comparing it with previous exhibition fights. When you think of this fight, or when you hear of matches like this, you normally don't bulge so much because it's usually an exhibition like his 2020 fight with Roy Jones Jr. and the Evander Holyfield fight some time ago. But this fight looks very strange and real, and Mike Tyson is handling it like he's in for whatever the match has for him. I like that he's still got his hunger and passion. It is great, but he's 57 already. That's so much for him. Even at my age, you could feel so much of your skill and techniques drop so low. Then, making his prediction, Mayweather slightly favored Mike Tyson over Jake Paul. It's not safe for Mike Tyson, but I think he can go through. I don't know why I feel he'd edge Jake Paul in this one. Jake Paul has some weights to build up, and Mike Tyson has been there all his life. It doesn't favor Jake Paul. I feel it has disadvantages for both fighters. Age is Mike Tyson's disadvantage. While Jake Paul is disadvantaged when it comes to the weight division, the skills and experience, I think Mike will win. I hope he does. Despite Mayweather having a few good things to say about Mike Tyson, it is no secret that the pair have been involved in a number of feuds over the years dating back to 2001, making Mike Tyson unwilling to acknowledge Mayweather in the greatest of all time category. Notably, Mayweather had a boxing career of 50 bouts, remaining undefeated in all 50 bouts. He won 27 matches by knockout, 
and the remaining 23 by split or unanimous decisions. But to Iron Mike, this wasn't worth considering. In 2001, Tyson's home was raided by the police, and he accused Mayweather of placing the call that caused this. Although Tyson later said, I'm good with it now. You can forgive, but you have to remember. A number of disagreements between the pair have taken place since. Back in 2014, when the two met at a boxing event, Tyson deliberately threw a punch towards Mayweather that only just missed, with the latter not even flinching. The two then embraced awkwardly. Explaining why he felt Mayweather was among the greatest of the sport, Mike Tyson said, Listen, if he was anywhere near that realm of great as Muhammad Ali, he'd be able to take his kids to school by himself. Okay, he can't take his kids to school by himself, and he's talking about how great he's great. Greatness is not guarding yourself from the people. It's being accepted by the people. He can't take his kids alone to school by himself. He's a little scared man. He's a very small, scared man. As time went on, several clips emerged online of Tyson again, claiming that Mayweather cannot be considered the GOAT. In a twist of events in 2021, when tensions rose between Floyd Mayweather and Jake Paul, Mike Tyson backed Floyd to beat up Jake Paul. This came as a result of the buildup to the matchup between Mayweather and Jake Paul's brother, Logan Paul, in 2021. Before the matchup was held, a promotion held at Miami descended into chaos after Jake Paul stole Mayweather's hat and an ugly brawl broke out between the both of them. Eventually, the YouTube star was left with a black eye before Mayweather was led away screaming, I'm going to kill that idiot! As a result, tensions began to rise between Floyd Mayweather and Jake Paul, and a bout between both fighters was looking more possible. But Tyson could only see such a bout ending badly for Jake Paul. And being so short-sighted, Mike Tyson ruled himself out of facing either of the Paul brothers in a future spectacle. No, he's gonna get beat up pretty bad, the former world heavyweight champion replied an interviewer when asked if Jake can beat Mayweather. And when quizzed on whether he would fight Jake or Logan, the baddest man on the planet added, No, I like those guys. No, I love those guys. The match between Logan Paul and Mayweather was not scored, and it didn't end in a knockout either. In the lead-up, both Mayweather and Paul spoke of how they wanted to entertain those that watched. Mayweather entered the ring against a physically larger man, Logan Paul, weighed in 34 and half pounds heavier and stood six inches taller. But Logan Paul, who amassed his fame through social media, going into the fight, had lost the only professional fight he participated in. Mayweather had won all 50 of his. The experience gap led many to believe that Mayweather would knock Paul out. But Paul constantly latched his frame onto Mayweather throughout the eight rounds of fighting. Still, Mayweather landed shots and stalked Paul down without exerting much energy. No winner was announced because there were no judges in the special event. The exhibition capped a night with three other televised bouts, including one that featured Johnson, a six-time Pro Bowl receiver who played 11 NFL seasons. He fought in an exhibition against mixed martial artist and bare-knuckle fighter Brian Maxwell. Johnson performed well but suffered a knockdown in the fourth round. Just like with the Mayweather-Paul bout, there were no judges and thus no winner. The two official fights were exciting too. In a middleweight bout, Luis Arias defeated Jarrett Hurd in an upset via split decision. In a light heavyweight bout, Badu Jack defeated Dervin Kalina after the referee stopped the fight in the fourth round. Kalina stepped in on short notice for Jean Pascal, who was scratched after a positive drug test. In the seventh round of his pay-per-view exhibition against Floyd Mayweather, social media star-turned-boxer Logan Paul stared the older man down and took a deep, exhausted breath. Then the 26-year-old part-time fighter, 18 years younger and nearly 35 pounds heavier than Mayweather, lurched forward to launch an attack. Mayweather, who retired undefeated in 2017, whacked Paul with a left hook. The punch wasn't hard by pro-boxing standards, but it was hard enough to get Paul's attention without wobbling him. By the final bell, after round eight, the crowd at Hard Rock Stadium booed the two combatants. Like that seventh round left hook, the fight got their attention but didn't deliver anything bigger. Both fighters assuredly took home millions of dollars from Sunday night's fight, but exactly how many millions of dollars is unknown. Official purse figures are usually made public by the sanctioning commission, in this case, the Florida State Boxing Commission, 
But since this was an exhibition, there are no representatives have specified how much they were contracted to make, and no credible boxing reporter reported the numbers. It didn't end in a knockout, but the outcome was as expected. Floyd Mayweather Jr., the greatest boxer of this generation, exerted little energy in an exhibition bout against Logan Paul, a social media star with essentially no experience, earning millions of dollars in the process. <laughs> Both Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Logan Paul have been described as controversial in the run-up to their fight, and it is worth being specific about the troubles the fighters have faced in the past, which they have each used to promote the fight. Mayweather was convicted of domestic abuse charges three times. He pleaded guilty to battery against the mother of one of his children in 2002 and received a suspended sentence. He was found guilty of two counts of battery against two women he hit in a casino in 2004 and received another suspended sentence, though the guilty verdict was later vacated. In 2012, he served two months of a three-month prison sentence after accepting a plea deal for reduced charges of domestic violence and harassment after he beat the mother of three of his children, Josie Harris. Having become so viral, Jake Paul vs. Mike Tyson is an upcoming heavyweight professional boxing match contested between American YouTuber Jake Paul and American former undisputed heavyweight world champion Mike Tyson. The bout is scheduled to take place on July 20, 2024, at the AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, U.S. The event will be streamed globally on Netflix. Meanwhile, Paul is 9, won as a boxer and suffered his only defeat to Tommy Fury, 24, in February 2023, but he has won three since, the rules of the match has become the latest controversy. Exact rules and regulations of the mega fight, like the number of rounds and whether it will be professionally sanctioned or not, are yet to be released. However, some professional boxers like British heavyweight Derek Chisora, who has no involvement whatsoever in the fight, made some wild claims. He alleged that Paul and Tyson would wear head guards and box in huge 18 Oz gloves. Notwithstanding, his baseless claims have been put to bed by Paul's business partner and most valuable promotions co-founder, Nakisa Badarian. Badarian posted on Instagram in response to Derek's claims, saying, Unequivocally, there is no headgear for Paul versus Tyson. Haters spreading fake news, but it won't stop the tens of millions of views. While staying free from the controversy around the rules, Paul's arch-rival, KSI, was among the biggest critics of the matchup. But Paul wasn't hesitant to hit back on a Twitter space with Adam Ross. You want to know the difference between Mike Tyson and KSI? Mike Tyson will actually fight me. So, who's the idiot now? That's the difference, bro. Oh, Mike's this. Mike is 57. But Mike signed the contract, you fool, KSI. You can say what you want, but you're fat running around doing sidemen YouTube videos, and I'm changing the sport of boxing. He then added, The biggest fight of the 21st century, Netflix. What could anyone possibly say while you're making FIFA reaction videos? I'm sorry, but we're not just the same. For both Mike and Jake, the bag. Like, at what, at what point, you can't... I don't know if you could say no. I said no to fighting Mike Tyson. I'd say no. During the same stream with Aiden Ross, Jake Paul also revealed his plans to improve his physique and work on his weight. The fight on July 20th is a live boxing debut for streaming platform, Netflix, as well as a heavyweight division, debut for Jake Paul. The lightest the American has weighed is 183.6 pounds, but his last two bouts have been at the 200 LB cruiserweight limit of 14 Saint 4 LB whereas Tyson was a career heavyweight at 15 Saint 7 LB, meaning Paul must pile on the pounds to match that. During the stream, he revealed his target weight for the bout will be the same 220 LB mark of 15 Saint 7 LB. That means having to put on over a stone and wait from now till July 20th, the time he gets in the ring with boxing's most feared fighter. Jake then spoke about the match, which has been his only loss in professional boxing, his bout against Tommy Fury. He saw out the match and made several efforts to secure a win for himself, but it ended in a loss by split decision for him. No to fighting Mike Tyson? I'd say no. I was I was offered it. And you I, offered? Yeah, I was offered it, but not on Netflix. 
and not for a big ass bag. Yeah. It was just like a it was just like a oh this moments guy. into his cruiserweight bout, which headlined a heavily hyped pay-per-view card in Daraya, Saudi Arabia, Jake Paul connected on Tommy Fury with the kind of right hand that usually makes highlight reels. Before then, a similar shot had dropped the retired mixed martial arts star Anderson Silva in his showdown with Paul, who gained fame through YouTube videos before turning to pro boxing. And in December 2021, Paul had landed an overhand right against Tyron Woodley, another aging MMA standout, knocking him unconscious. But Fury, a 23-year-old pro boxer from England, barely flinched. Instead, he closed out the first round with a series of sharp jabs, followed by a straight right and a I left hook just before that bell. it would settle the question of whether Paul, 26, a social media influencer with high-profile wins against a retired basketball player and MMA fighters, could defeat a legitimate boxer. Those opening sequences provided an early clue. Paul entered the contest with a lopsided social media advantage, 22.7 million Instagram followers to Fury's 4.7 million. But Fury, the half-brother of Tyson Fury, the World Boxing Council heavyweight champion, had better boxing skills. He deployed a longer, sharper jab, landed the more authoritative power punches, and used superior timing to achieve a split-decision win. Sport Box Office and ESPN Plus pay-per-view Sunday, the 26th of February. You're not going to want to miss it. Live from Diria, Saudi Arabia. Two judges scored the bout, 76-73 for Tommy Fury, while a third favored Paul by 75-74. Tonight I made my own legacy, Fury said in the ring immediately after the fight. I had the world on me. I had pressure on my shoulders and I came through. Fury improved his record to 9-0, while Paul absorbed his first professional loss. This is definitely a humbling experience, said Paul when he was six. One with four knockouts. I'll take it on the chin. Paul's rise as a boxer had been built mostly on buzz, with his succession of wins over widely known part-timers creating the perception, stoked by Paul himself, that he could compete with world-class practitioners. He has called out the retired welterweight champion Floyd Mayweather, who pummeled Paul's brother Logan in a 2021 exhibition. Jake Paul has also suggested that he can defeat the super middleweight champion Saul Alvarez by 2024. Three years after his first pro bout, though, Paul had headlined four pay-per-view events, but he still had not faced a full-time boxer. Then entered Fury, the youngest, most chiseled, and most social media savvy member of a boxing family. But whereas Tyson Fury has been a heavyweight champion since 2015, Tommy is best known for his role on the reality television show Love Island. His two previous scheduled meetings with Paul had fallen through, mostly because Fury was denied a visa to travel to the United States because of his family association with Daniel Kinahan, the reputed head of an Irish drug cartel who is wanted by U.S. authorities. This, to me, was a world title fight. Fury said after the match. Paul's first professional loss came in the first bout that strayed from the formula that had brought him boxing fame. After defeating several non-boxers in their late 30s and mid-40s, Paul finally faced a younger opponent whose main sport was boxing. Those circumstances could complicate Paul's counter moves. Who do I got? Yeah. Jake Paul. Jake Paul did? Hopefully. But Mike Tyson's a legend, one of the greatest of all greatest time. Greatest of all time, but Jake's my boy. I got to go with Jake. Jake, so, so you're not going against Jake are you, are, you, are you putting money on it? How much are you going to put on Jake Paul? I'll put maybe 100 on Jake. His appeal, after all, has rested on the curiosity about what would happen when he faced a real boxer. Sunday provided some answers. One of Paul's most highly viewed social media clips involved him on HBO's Game Theory, snapping at the show's host, Bomani Jones, who had asked Paul how he would react if he lost to Fury. But Paul already knew. His contract with Fury contained a rematch clause, and after the bout, Paul said he intended to exercise it. We did big business, Paul said at the post-fight news conference. For that reason, the rematch is going to be even bigger. Remarkably, the exact rules and regulations of his mega fight with Mike Tyson, like the number of rounds and whether it will be professionally sanctioned or not, are yet to be released. However, the match is still some four months away and there's plenty of time to do that. With a win, Mike Tyson would extend his record to 51 wins in 59 matches. 
while a win from Jake Paul would see him increase his tally to 10 wins in 12 matches. Turn on notifications and hit the subscribe button to keep receiving the very best news in the world of boxing. Until next time, peace out.